I'm Natalie Shelton, and welcome to Rethink Fabulous. Here on Rethink Fabulous, you're going to find truly unique and one-of-a-kind DIYs. I like to use Dollar Tree, thrifted, and trash-to-treasure items. My goal is not only to inspire you to make beautiful things for your home, but also to help train your mind to look at things in a whole new way. So make sure you like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any fabulous DIYs. All right, let's get started. Today in the crafting lab, I've been working on a beautiful spring butterfly. Starting out with some Dollar Tree foam board, and then I took a pattern of a butterfly and I just traced it out. Once you get it traced out, you wanna take your X-Acto knife and cut out the pattern. Once you cut out the pattern, you wanna take a sanding block and sand all those edges. Now you wanna take some fabric, any fabric. This is an old dress that I had, and I wanted to use the fabric from this dress. I then cut out enough fabric to cover the foam board butterfly. I love using unused lace clothing for my DIYs. Now I'm gonna make sure that fabric fits my butterfly form and use my glue gun and glue around the edges pressing my fabric down. I'm using a Dollar Tree spatula to make sure I don't burn my fingers. And now I'm using a Walmart standard size pillow for my stuffing. I love using them because they're less than $3. Now I'm gonna continue to glue that butterfly form, adding stuffing as I go. You want to make sure that your butterfly is stuffed really good in all the corners so that you can really see the shape of the butterfly. And you can kind of push on the stuffing and rearrange it so that it's nice and even. Now I'm just going to close up that butterfly with the fabric and there you go. Now we're just going to use our scissors to trim off all the excess lace around the edges. Now you have a beautiful lace covered butterfly. I'm going to take a piece of foam board and I'm going to use this butterfly card that I have and just trace it a little bit bigger than the original size so that I have the size of butterfly that I'm wanting. Once I get that done, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut out the form of the small butterfly. Once I get that all pulled out, I'm actually going to sand the edges with my sanding block and use my X-Acto knife to cut through the first layer of paper, scoring it so that it doesn't cut all the way through, but it bends. I'm going to use this lace jacket that I don't wear anymore. It's a cream colored lace and I'm just going to cut the fabric so that it covers the small butterfly cutout. We're going to repeat the process that we did with the big butterfly and we're just going to add glue around the edges and lay down the lace, stuffing it as we go. Now we're just going to cut the excess lace off of this small butterfly. And there you go, there's your butterfly. Now I'm taking some drop cloth and I'm going to be cutting strips and ripping them. I'm actually going to be using about seven pieces for the big butterfly. Now I wanted a fringe along this, but I'm not really a sewer, so if you are a sewer, you could absolutely sew a fringe, a ruffle, I guess you would call it. <laughs> but I'm just going to make my own ruffle by adding some glue, going forward, and then going back about a half an inch, adding glue, and gluing forward again. And I'm just gonna keep doing that back and forth until I get a nice ruffle around my whole entire butterfly. Once 
once we get the big butterfly done, we're gonna start on the small butterfly. And I'm actually going to be using some drop cloth here as well. And I'm gonna be using about four pieces of this ripped drop cloth. With this one, I want a different texture and a different look. So I'm actually going to bend it in half, and then I'm going to glue it around the edge of the butterfly, keeping it bent in half all around. So now I'm gonna be taking my scissors and I'm gonna be cutting little slats into that little fringe that we just glued on. I'm gonna do that all the way around. Once I've got all the little cuts in, I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna rub it against that little fringe that we just made. This really roughs it up and gives it a really nice, beautiful fringe. You're gonna do that all the way around. Now I'm gonna take an extra piece of that uh, ribbon and I'm going to just tie a knot around the center of the small butterfly. This just gives the body a little bit of definition. I thought it would be really neat to add some pearls to the center of the body. So I'm going to be using big and medium sized pearls that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just alternating them, one big, one medium, one big, and one medium. I'm gonna do that all the way down. Now I'm gonna be adding some hot glue to the back so that we can glue it onto the big part of the butterfly. And then I'm going to lift each wing and add some hot glue to the seams of that as well. Just so that this piece is stuck on there really nice and securely. Now I'm gonna be using some scrap ribbons and laces and drop cloth pieces. I like to call this a scrappy bow and I'm just using a bunch of scraps to make this bow. So now I'm gonna just take one of the ribbons and I'm gonna tie a knot around the center, just securing all of those pieces together. And then I'm going to take one of my ribbons and dovetail it where you just bend it in half and cut towards your hand and that'll give it a nice finished edge. And then I'm just gonna trim off all the other pieces and I also like to add some knots to some of my pieces. It just gives it some dimension and some interest. Now I'm just gonna glue that right above the small butterfly, but down a little bit on the big butterfly. And then I'm gonna continue to trim all the pieces to the length that I want. Now I'm going to use some of these flowers that I got at Walmart, and I'm cutting off some of these pieces that are straight pieces of grass. And if you take your scissors and go up the pieces of grass, it actually curls them kind of like Christmas ribbon. I thought these would make really cute antennas for my butterfly. And I'm also cutting some of the white flowers off as well to be part of the antenna. I wanted to use a bunch of different greens and textures, flowers, all sorts of things to make these beautiful antennas for the butterfly. Now I'm just adding some hot glue underneath that bow and adding my greenery in there. That way you can't see it, it's covered by the ribbon. Now 
I'm just taking another ribbon and I'm making a shoelace bow with this. Once I get that done, I'm just going to trim it up to the size that I want and glue it right there on top of the scrappy bow. And there you have this beautiful butterfly. Now, of course, I wanted to add a little bit of extra, so I'm going to be adding some pearls on the body of the big butterfly. I'm going to be alternating the medium and the small pearls and just put them all over. And I think it adds a beautiful finishing touch to this piece. And here are some pictures of the finished project. I'll see you next time on Rethink Fabulous.